Number 18, the aqueous humor in a person's eye is exerting a force of 0.3 newtons on the 1.1 centimeter square area of the cornea. Letter A, what pressure is this in millimeters of mercury? All right, so uh, first thing is uh, we have to just calculate the pressure. Problem is simple. I mean, here's an eye, all right? The cornea is all the way at the back. The aqueous humor is uh, in the front towards the lens. And uh, obviously the aqueous humor doesn't actually apply pressure directly to the cornea, right? It produces, it'll uh, put a pressure on the uh, vitreous body uh, in the bulk part of the eye. And that's then going to start applying this pressure as I'm sure some of you who have taken biology, um, I'm sure you'll appreciate that little discussion for those of you who haven't, uh, whatever. And uh, so now let's take a look at the pressure, right? So the pressure here is going to be uh, equal to the force divided by the area, okay? So it's asking us for the pressure, uh, but they want it in millimeters of mercury. So why don't we first just find the pressure in Pascal and then we'll break it on down into millimeters of mercury. So, um, so the pressure here is going to be equal to the force of 0.3 newtons divided then by the area. They gave it to us in centimeters squared, right? But we need it in meters squared. So we can do like a simple conversion down here, right? So this is 1.1 centimeter squared. You gotta multiply that by centimeter on the bottom, meter on the top. One meter for every hundred centimeters. You gotta square that baby. And now you then you will get your answer, right? So this will then be, so this is basically, uh, hold on one second. So this is basically one, whoops, 1.1, 1.1 times 10 to the minus fourth, all right, meters. So uh, now that we got that out of the way, we can plug it in. So this is 1.1 times 10 to the minus fourth. And now the pressure in Pascal is going to be 0.3 divided by 1.1 times 10 to the minus fourth. And this is going to be 2.73 uh, or so, 2.73 times 10 raised to the third, right? Was it three? Yeah, times 10 raised to the third, um, da, 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 Pascal. Okay, now that's not the answer they want. They want it in uh, meters, uh, excuse me, millimeters of mercury. So uh, we need just a couple of conversion factors. So uh, for, so one, um, atmosphere, we can go to atmospheres and then I do this a lot in chemistry. So this is the conversion I know off the top of my head. One atmosphere is equivalent to 760 millimeters of mercury. And that's also equivalent to... 1.01 times 10 to the 5 Pascal. So obviously we can see the ratio we need here to get from Pascal into millimeter millimeters of mercury. I'm going to do that conversion at the bottom here just in a different color. All right. So it's going to be 2.73 times 10 to the 3rd Pascal times now Pascal's on the bottom and the value was 1.01 .01 times 10 to the 5. All right. Let me make that a little neater times 10 to the 5, and then on the top was the millimeters of mercury value of 760 millimeters of mercury. So that's all we got to do. Just divide that answer by 1.01 .01 times 10 to the 5, and we shall have it. So this will be 20.5, round to three sig figs, so it looks like 20.5 millimeters of mercury. All right, let me box that answer. Let's take a look then at letter B. It says, is this value within the normal range for pressures in the eye? I don't know, what do I look like, a doctor? I don't know, right? <laughs> is it within the normal range? What is the pressure in the eye? I have no idea, right? So, uh, sure, sure. That's the answer for letter B, okay? <laughs> Guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Please remember to subscribe. I'll see you in the next question. Take care.